Hello everyone. In this part of the second lecture, we are going to see how information in general are seen from the perspective of a digital computer. You should always keep in mind that everything from the computer point of view will be seen in the form of zeros and ones. So information in general will be just in the form of sequences of binary values. And for binary, we have only two values, zero and ones. One usually will stand for true and zero will represent false. As an example, this could be a piece of information, zero, one, zero, one, 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 zero, one, zero, and so on and so forth. So all kind of information will be represented in this form. As for the numbers, they will be converted into binary form when viewed by the computer. For example, this is something that we already know. Yeah? We just started our lecture with this. For example, 19 in the decimal form or in base 10 will be viewed as 10011 in the binary form. So for numbers, it's straightforward. We just need to convert, do the conversion between the different bases from decimal into binary. As for the characters, each character will have a specific numeric value associated with it. There are standards for this. The one that now is being used is the ASCII standard, ASCII standard. And for example, for the capital letter A, decimal value of 65, which is equivalent to 100000 one in the binary form will be used and for the lowercase letter a decimal value of 97 which is 1100001 will be used so when a computer receives the sequence of ones and zeros it will understand that there is the lowercase letter a and similarly for the other characters for the text which is indeed a sequence of the characters the computer will receive a sequence of the characters' codes, binary codes. For example, here we have the hi there as a piece of text. So for each for each character, its equivalent code will be used. So 72 in decimal form, which is 1001000 for capital letter H will be used. And then for I we have 105 in decimal then for space we have 32 for lowercase letter t we have 116 and so on and so forth so these codes that we have for the characters we put one after each after the other one and as a result a text could be understood by the computer all right so now let's have a look at some terminology that is being used in the context of the course First, we start with the byte, with the bit, then byte, and then the word. A bit is a single piece of information, or it's indeed a binary digit. It can take only two values, one or zero. So you can think of a bit as a container which can have a single value or which can indeed store the information for a single piece of information let's say and it could have either zero or you can think that it is a container which is full and therefore it has the value of one so it will be either zero or one it's the smallest, let's say, possible amount of information to be stored or to be dealt with. Then we have byte. Byte is a collection of the bits put together. Indeed, eight bits together will form a byte. And you can assume that this is a byte where we have eight bits besides each other. 
and each one of these bits can take either 0 or 1 as its value so for example we can have this value for a byte all of them could be 0 all of them could be 1 or and the, the byte itself could take any value in between these two values then the next term which we are going to consider is called the word word is a group of bits but it the, the word itself is architecture dependent so depending on the architecture of the computer we might have a different number of the bits uh, forming a word there is a 16 bit word for one architecture so it means that two bytes besides each other will form a byte will form a word and we also have the 32 bit words which means that there are four bytes besides each other so the length or the size of the word will depend on the architecture of the computer okay this is something to keep in mind and uh, this is because computers have bounds on how much input they can handle at once whether they are able to handle up to 16 bits of data at, at once or whether they can do it for 32 or 64 and so on and so forth that determines the size of the world that's why it is architecture dependent okay so let's go through two other terms msb and lsb msb stands for the most significant bit msb and it's the leftmost bit indeed or the bit which has the highest order so you can see here in an example that we have one zero 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 and so on and so forth is given the leftmost bit here which has the value of one is called as msp or most significant bit if you think of this uh, sequence of the bits as a number let's say the leftmost one will have the biggest let's say value because if you if we assume that it's a binary number and we want to convert it into decimal or base 10 we know that this one will be multiplied by 2 to the power of let's say n where n is the biggest of the all while the leftmost hand the, the leftmost bit indeed while the rightmost bit which is the lsp will be multiplied by 2 to the power of 0 so lsp on the other hand you can see that is used for the least significant bit or it's the bit at the rightmost side which has the lowest order as you can see here yeah if you convert it into the the, the binary in this number into the decimal number it will be multiplied by 2 to the power of 0 only so the rightmost bit is called lsp and the leftmost bit will, will be called as the msp or most significant bit and as a common reference notation when we when we have a sequence of bits if you want to refer to the position of a bit where we have k number of bits we will do in this way so for the rightmost one we will use the index of zero so this is for lsb and for the leftmost one we will use the b underscore k minus one which is for the most significant bit or msp okay so i think that's all for this video i hope you got the the definition for the terms here uh, in the next video lecture we will be we will start doing arithmetic operation on the binary numbers thank you for watching and see you in the next video